Hello, greetings. Uh, let's continue to work through our third example problem from week three. Um, so this is still from chapter two on applications of linear programming problems. Here we're looking at a production scheduling problem. Uh, so in our last screencast, we set up our linear programming problem. In this screencast, we are going to solve using LibreOffice Calc or essentially Microsoft um, Excel. All right, so here is our, our problem statement. And then after the last video ended, I summarized our equations um, here. So if I hop over to LibreOffice Calc, um, what I've done is essentially I've just created a table with the information given in the problem set. So we have month one through six. Here's the production cost in terms of dollars per window uh, in the respective months, the demand each month. And then I created a column for our variables uh, XI and SI the number of windows made each month, and the number of windows stored each month. And then since we're solving um, using solver, you had to start with an initial guess of the value of those variables. So I just put one in for everything. Uh, remember, there's no S6. I'm assuming that there's nothing left in storage um, at the end of six months. And then the storage cost per month I, I listed here, which is $8. Um, rather than listing it uh, for every single month, it just made one um, there. All right, so now if we jump into um, solving, okay, the first thing I want to do is, you know, our objective is to uh, minimize our total costs, which consists of our production costs and storage costs. We'll go ahead and compute that, and then we'll go ahead and compute all of our constraints, um, where the right-hand side here is just the uh, number of windows delivered, so the demand, and then here we have, you know, our production plus storage um, for each month. Okay, so this is, well, production minus uh, storage at the end of the month is, is the amount delivered. Okay, here storage at the beginning of the month plus produ production in that month minus stored at the end of the month is, is equal to um, what's delivered. So let's go ahead and um, do it. Okay, oh. so if I start with, let's start with total production costs. Okay, so our total production costs in dollars is just going to be the sum of uh, the production cost in terms of dollars per window times the number of windows made in each month. And we're going to sum over all of our months. So I'm summing over all my months. Bam, total production costs. Now I'm going to calculate my total storage costs in terms of dollars. Okay, That's going to be sum over. And so it'd be um, storage cost per month times the number of windows stored each month. Um, and actually this should be, you know, dollars per window in terms of the, the rate. Okay, so the total storage cost is going to be uh, the storage cost in terms of dollars per window times the number of um, windows stored each month, and I'd sum over um, all months. Since the storage cost is exactly the same each month, we just factored it out. So it's eight times, and then we'll just sum up. Oh, and we'll just sum up. the number of windows stored at the end of each month. All right, you could just as well use the sum function, but I'll just add them up. Okay. So to total storage cost is that. So then our uh, total um, cost in dollars is going to be the sum of our production costs plus our storage cost. Okay. So this is what I want to try and minimize. Okay. So next we'll look at our constraints. Okay, and so our constraints, um, we're going to have a constraint essentially um, related to the amount delivered in, in each month. Okay, so left-hand side, so I'll use my equal side, it, it's a formula. So for month one, I have the amount of windows made in month one minus the number of windows stored in each month. In month two, I'm going to have the amount of number of windows at the beginning of the month plus the amount of windows made in month two minus that stored at the end of month two. 
uh, month three of the number of windows beginning at the beginning of month uh, three plus the number of windows produced in month three minus the number of windows stored at the end of month three. Okay, month four, the amount of windows at the beginning of month four plus the number of windows manufactured in month four minus the number of windows in storage at the end of month four. Month five, the number of windows stored at the beginning of month five plus the number of windows made uh, in month five minus those in storage at the end of month five. Month six would be number of windows in storage at the beginning of month six plus those made in month six. Okay, and there's none stored at the end of month six. Okay, and then that's going to be equal to the demand of each month. Okay, so I'll type it once. And I can just drag it down to get them all. Okay. All right. So, um, and then we, we have our non-negativity constraint. Non-negativity constraint is just that all of our variables have to be positive. Um, but I can just get that by checking the non-negativity constraint option uh, in Solver. Okay, so let me click on total cost. Now let's do it. So I'm going to call Solver. Okay, I want to um, minimize that. I'm going to change the number of windows made. Actually, let's see, can I, uh, okay, so this might be problematic in terms of selecting them, but we can deal with it, okay. I'm going to highlight all of them. This is an empty cell, um, so it shouldn't matter at all. We'll find out if that's the case or not. And then my constraints are all going to be left-hand side equals right hand side And let's solve. Okay, um, that doesn't look good. No solution found. Let's see where I messed up. So, number of windows stored there. That um, so number of windows made, number of windows stored. Okay, total production cost. Production cost dollars per window times number of windows made in each month. Good. Storage cost, um, oh, and let me just, I referenced or typed in $8, but I might as well click on that. So uh, storage cost in dollars per window, then I sum over all of our months in terms of storage. Total cost is the sum of those two. Okay, and then my constraints, uh, I have it listed here. So number of windows made in month one minus the number of windows stored at the end of month one uh, is equal to 100. And this should be saying number of windows at the end of month one is what's at the beginning of month two, plus that in manufactured in month two minus stored at the end. Yeah, so these should all be good. Okay, so I'm going to look at and see if maybe my initial guesses need to be adjusted. Okay, and see if that has any sort of influence. Okay, so I'm going to try and minimize my total costs. So I want to minimize that by changing all of those variables. This one shouldn't make a difference because it's not used anywhere. 
and then these are all equality constraints. Huh. All right, let's see if I am missing anything. Oh, well, let, I don't know if it'll make a difference, but let's check our non-negativity constraint. Okay, so here I have to uh, click the box, assume non-negative. Ah, and there we go. Uh, it says it's successful, so let's keep the result. Okay, so again, my answer was I um, had forgot to check the box for my non-negativity constraint. So in doing so, it looks like, and we're going to compare to my answer, okay, the optimal cost or minimum cost is 49980 uh, We get that, and we get that we make uh, 100, 440, 0, 140, 220, and 110 windows a month, uh, 1 through 10, right? So there we go. We've, we've, we have our solution, which, which matches the uh, exact solution. And it makes sense. So remember, the cost of store window um, at the end of the month is, is $8. And so it looks like in month two, we're making windows for month two and month three. In month three, we're not making anything. And right, it makes sense because the cost to make a window is $10 more in month three. And it only costs $8 to store a window. So it'd be cheaper to make more in month two and store for use in month three than it would in um you know, to, to make it in month three. Now, it doesn't make sense necessarily. So month two is our cheapest month to make a window. All the other months, right? So month one is, is $5 more. Here it's $10 more. That's where we're not making any windows. $3, um, $7, and, and $5, right? So in no other month is the difference uh, greater than eight, which is why it looks like we're making all the windows or you know, optimals to make all the windows um, in that month. Okay, so there you go. We got it. Um, initially, it says the solution wasn't bound, and all that was is I was missing uh, the non-negativity constraint, which in LibreOffice Calc, I have to check the little box um, to you know apply non-negativity. Hope that helps. Hope you're able to solve the homework problems. Best of luck.